You are watching With a Cup of Tea, the High Plains Book Awards edition, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings, Montana. Now here's our show. Welcome to This House of Books. We have today with us Justin Olson, who's a finalist for the High Plains Book Award. Uh, Justin has a, a book out called Earth to Charlie, and uh, we're going to talk about that book in a minute, but maybe first, Justin, you could tell us a little about yourself. Sure. Uh, thanks for having me, and I'm, I'm from Butte, Montana, originally, born and raised, and lived about the first 30 years of my life in Montana in various places, and then uh, ended up living in LA and in the past couple of years I've lived in uh, Arizona and now I'm in Eugene, Oregon. So kind of jumping around to a few places, but um, Montana really is my home and it's where my heart is. And I've written nine novels now, but they all take place in Montana. So it seems to be the place I keep going back to for, for all of my work. And Earth to Charlie takes place in Whitehall as well. So Kind of, yes. Okay. <laughs> Very yep. good. You said you have how many novels? This was, um, I mean, this is, I think, listed as your. Uh, it's my first. It's my first novel, but it was the fifth one I've written, and then I've written four since then, and okay. hopefully some of them will eventually get published. It's taken a while, so. Still have the manuscripts yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know that takes a long time to get them out to, you know, for a publisher to accept them. Oh. Yeah, it does. And then I, unfortunately, my editor with Earth to Charlie, who wanted to work on another book with me, he had to leave the industry, unfortunately. Uh, so it's been a lot of problems like that that have, so unfortunate, but trying to find a new you know, a new route now. So yeah. Yeah. Right. Find a new editor that, that likes my work. So I've seen that happen quite a bit. <laughs> and you've, you've also worked in uh, film and television. I, I noticed on IMDb, you have uh, three credits for uh, movies. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. Sorry. I work um, as a independent film and TV producer. So I, you know, I've set up some TV series at various uh, studios and networks and uh, nothing that has made it to air yet. That's a whole long development process. But, um, you know, I, I went to UCLA for my master's in film and TV producing. And so I am working on about six feature projects and a TV series. One um, I'm producing, um, I think he's part of the this house of books, if I'm not mistaken, David Abrams, his book Fobbit. I'm producing that and I've set that up a couple of places and now we're working on uh, home number three for that one. So, so yeah. yeah, I keep when I'm not writing, I'm I'm busy producing and trying to get a bunch of projects to the air. So well, fantastic. We love Fobbit. So I, I'm looking yeah, forward to it. Yeah, that would be yeah. great. Yeah, we actually have some new writers on board and we're hopefully going to pitch that in January of 2021. Great. Tell us about Earth to Charlie. What's that? So Earth to Charlie is a young adult novel. Um, it was published by Simon & Schuster. Uh, the hardcover came out in April 2019 and the paperback came out this year, April 2020 at the height of, you know, everything being closed. Um, and it takes place in Whitehall. It's about a, a high school freshman who's days away from graduating. And he, every night he looks for a, uh, UFOs because he believe, believes his mom was abducted by aliens um, because she told him she, he, she was going to be and then um, disappeared. So he firmly believes she was abducted by aliens. So he kind of has this like miserable small town existence. He's bullied. Um, you know, his dad has a drinking problem. His grandma has, a, has dementia. Uh, so he's kind of hoping that the aliens do come back for him and he wants to join his mom. So he searches every night. And uh, 
towards the end of the school year, the new, a new kid comes to, to town and it begins to kind of unravel this process of what really happened and kind of makes Charlie confront um, his existence basically and, and realize that, you know, maybe life is really more important um, not looking up, but like looking straight forward and, and seeing what is actually around and, and then beginning to appreciate what he has. So basically it's about finding like your place on earth and, and kind of um, learning to, to love where you're at and to fit in and, you know, kind of that whole process. And then also seeing what happened with his mom and, and confronting the reality of the situation. Sounds just fantastic. I, I, I love the premise. So, Thank you. Yeah. So the audience, you're saying, uh, um, well, who would the audience be? Well, the book cover says 12 and up. So I like, I like going with that. So really, you know, adults read it and they love it as well. Um, teenagers read it, they love it. So really, you know, there's, there's a couple of cuss words, but otherwise it's like 12 and up is is a good audience okay well i i've always thought that a, a good young adult book works for adults too so, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah absolutely fantastic i'm wondering about this book um the the premise of it sounds very different than for instance the the films you you're listed you're credited with uh, mm -hmm. you know, which are mainly in the horror, mystery, thriller genre. Yeah, I think, you know, I, well, for producing, it's easier um, to, to get funding for certain types of films. I actually, I do love horror. Um, I love watching horror movies. And so, um, yeah, so the, the book that I just submitted to my agent uh, has um, some horror elements to it as well. And that's hopefully going to be my follow up to Earth to Charlie. And it has a, a man following the main character and kind of like haunting him. Um, and then there's, you know, some like zombies and things because the main character loves old horror movies and he kind of pictures them in his mind as he's watching the movies and things like that and suddenly there's zombies out his window things like that so <laughs> yeah so it's i i love horror um in general and um it just seems like a lot of my contacts in film are in that kind of realm um you know it's for an independent producer it's uh you have to kind of play in certain genres that are more friendly to financing so than than others at the and and the marketplace dictates that so mm -hmm. yeah but but no matter what i'm producing i always find projects i'm very picky so i always find projects that are speak to me on some level beyond genre be it like you know some kind of theme or whatever it is that that resonates with me so mm -hmm. it's it's less to me about genre and more about what the story is about and the characters on that journey and do do I want to follow that? And as an independent producer working on something that takes five, 10 years to make, you know, it's a, it's a long time. So it's, and it's a lot of uphill pushing. So you got to really love something about it beyond just a genre. Well, thanks so much for uh, taking the time to visit with us about this. I, I really yeah, thank appreciate you. I appreciate this. Thank you very much. This program has been produced by This House of Books in collaboration with the High Plains Book Awards. The Book Awards were established to recognize regional authors and literary work that examines life on the High Plains. Nominations will be accepted starting in January 2021 on the website highplainsbookawards.org. <laughs>